Xers, welcome back. Uh, earlier today I told you about this new cool FPGA board, the Ultra 96. Well, I'm back uh, because it's What the Wednesday and I have a really juicy what the for you this Wednesday. It is the Mr. Robot badge from Brian Benchoff. This is a DEF CON badge. You've probably heard of this tradition of hacker conferences having really neat badges and different organizations will bring their own. Uh, this one has a ludicrous, what is this, 16 by 16 or, that's nine, 18 by 18, is that possible? A uh, grid of LEDs, that's redonkulous. Um, and it's powered off of two uh, AA batteries. It's got a little game pad with A and B and D pad on it. Um, and it has its own Twitter handle and website in case you're curious. You've probably seen this one around. It got pretty famous last year in advance of DEF CON, uh, but they appear to have upgraded the design somewhat. We can debate whether or not this is like wearable tech or whatever, but there are some cool features of it that I really want you to see. So uh, I was just at uh, Hope Conference in New York, and that's where I obtained this from Mr. Benchoff himself, who was like, I'll give you one for free if you talk about it. And that's uh, exactly what I'm doing because I am uh, very much a mercenary. <laughs> so uh, the cool thing about this badge this time, well, let's, first let's turn it on and look at some of the, some of the features. Uh, so we've got this grid that comes on and says Mr. Robot Badge. And it's got a little icon of a guy, I'm not sure why. And the first thing option that you have is to look at demo scene. It's just like some little visualizations and stuff. I'm not going to go into them right now because I haven't figured out a way to exit them yet. <laughs> if you push up or down, you get more options. There's a little snake game, uh, which we'll go into in a second. I just want to show you all the options first. There's some weird stuff about Tide Pods. I should warn you again. It's in the description, but there is adult language and themes in this video, so be aware. All right, you can view Tide Pod. I don't. I, I think that just crashes it. Oh yeah, it gives you a little, like a little wheel design thingy. Uh, can we get out of here? Oh no, no, it just oh, it just freezes. Uh, oh hey, wait, maybe it came back. Anyway, so after its little startup thingy, we'll take a look at more of these. Okay, yeah, demo scene, snake, we saw that. Uh, view Tide Pod, eat Tide Pod, which is obviously a bad idea. That's the whole point of this meme. Don't do that. Display name tag, you can set your own name tag. That's the next option as you set it. Um, I can't actually read the like super fancy text on here. It looks like dom at je or something, I have no idea. But it's a Magic 8-Ball app, which is actually pretty cool. You can like use it to tell your future. Uh, I already got a pretty dispiriting answer today, so I'm not gonna try my luck again. Uh, Tetris game, uh, and what's this again? Oh, back to demo scene, yeah. Let's try Tetris, I haven't actually played that on here yet. No, I suck at Tetris, I'll only embarrass myself. <laughs> Let's play Snake. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, no. Ah, it moves really fast. Oh, I'm bad at this game too. Ah! <laughs> crash. Anyway, wait, what? How did I go? What? Whoa. No, no, I can't. Oh, even with being able to go through the walls, I still just don't uh, have the dexter. Anyway, um, yeah, so I haven't figured out how to exit some of these without it crashing, and sometimes it just crashes anyway. Like if there is no. Uh, alpha data. I think that might be the case with the Tetris or something, or one of the other ones. Um, let, let's look at the the demo scene thing really quick, because that was a huge part of the coolness of HopeConf was this like evening where they showed a bunch of demo scene videos. If you're not familiar with demo scene, uh, you should go check that out immediately. Google it. It's a fantastic tradition wherein people would try to fit the most possible amazing complex video and audio things into a tiny amount of memory, like 64 kilobytes or whatever. So good. Uh, really amazing. Anyway, so you got some cool little demos on here. This whole thing is running on an ESP8266 down here. Um, and yeah, you've got this little FTDI programmer port over here. You'll need like an FTDI to USB cable. 
Uh, these ones come with the uh, Seed Studio Grove kit. So, on to what's probably the most new part. I don't know, because I didn't have one of these last year, but um, maybe you can tell me. I know that this part is new. Uh, <laughs> the whole thing with the Tide Pods, right? Uh, there is a protocol for the Mr. Robot badge called Shitty Add-ons. This is where the adult language comes in. Um, this is done apparently by some kind of stamp, uh, and it seems that the ink is a little fussy. Uh, I was wondering if it was markers, but no, it's some type of stamp according to Mr. Benchoff. Uh, and basically it's got a little I squared C connector, <laughs> and you uh, attach female headers, like so, thank you, Brian, to your badge, and you stick the little SAO in there, thump, presumably in that orientation, we'll find out later. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so there's a number of different anchor points for them. This one, I'm not sure if it actually does anything. It's got some kind of a chip on it, but what does it do? Well, maybe if I, oh, ah, they have marked. It's hard to tell, because it's got some like solder gunk on here, flux, um, which, which uh, pin is which, but I'm gonna guess... Oh, you know what? We can look at the spec. Um, we'll try this in a second. Uh, but yeah, uh, I also got some Oshpark flavored proto boards. Uh, these are from Drew Fistini at Oshpark. Uh, and as you'll see, the um, Comic Sans is the official font of uh, shitty add-ons. It's just shitty all the way down. It's great. Um, and now we come to the website. Uh, as you'll notice, this is hosted on our favorite nemesis, hackaday.io, uh, frenemies, super good, uh, much respect. And you can find the firmware, you can find the uh, vector art, you can find the schematic and all kinds of cool stuff like that. Uh, they also have this Twitter account that I mentioned. DJ Khaled featuring Mr. Robot Badge, uh, where they're posting stuff. There's also an official website, which is gloriously basic. It looks like they literally just typed in some HTML here. I would not be surprised. I see your center tag. I see you. That's probably not even a CSS align center, is it? I bet it's literally a center tag. <laughs> and then just like a BG color. Oh, I gotta see actually. Let's check it out. I was gonna say, and there's no way you disabled right-clicking on here. Oh, look at it! Oh, it's so good! ASCII art! Fantastic! Uh, do, 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 do. It is a center tag! Oh, so that's so gloriously antiquated! Oh my! Uh, yeah, this takes me right back to middle school. Dang! Uh, super cool. It's open hardware. It's fantastic. Uh, you can contact them through Twitter. Uh, Elliot is obviously Elliot from the Mr. Robot Show. If you're not familiar, this is a mask that they use on the Mr. Robot Show, which is about a bunch of hackers doing hacker things. Uh, also not safe for work, uh, unless it happens to be my job, I guess. But I'm not sitting around watching Mr. Robot, that'd be too good. Uh, there's a subreddit as well, slash Mr. Robot Badge. All one word. And this is, I presume, the previous version. It's from a year ago, almost exactly a year ago. It's from two days from now <laughs> in the past. They had serial numbers, which we don't seem to have anymore, and a much smaller LED grid. And it ran on four AA batteries. So clearly we've leveled up here. Look at this magnificent comparison. Oh, so good. Check that out again. So good. <laughs> Um, it's Wednesday, but it feels like Friday. Anyway, um, so again, with the shitty add-ons, right? Our friend Dre in New York got a picture of our other friend Mohib's badge, which features this glorious deal with it sunglasses. There were like four different ones that Brian had there. There's also this sort of like hypnotoad type guy, um, which is not actually hypnotoad because it's got eyes on stalks, but anyway, uh, yeah. So, it's, oh, so good. Uh, here is the standard. So again, Comic Sans, very much yes, VCC, SEA, SCL, and ground. So you've got your data and clock pins, uh, power and ground. Uh, that's 3.3 volts. Uh, <laughs> the circle indicates VCC. Okay, so it does at least on the badge. 
but there's nothing on the on the tide pod to indicate that. So what if I just sort of mash it on? That should work, right? <laughs> I don't know why there's a chip on there because I don't see any other actual components. But maybe it, wait, maybe it makes something happen. Maybe that's what the eat Tide Pod thing is. Uh, it's also possible I didn't plug it in the right way around. You know, I could probably tell by looking at the chip actually. <laughs> well, if this doesn't work, we will try. Maybe you, oh, insert pod. It didn't do that before. Press key. Uh, which one? Any key? There's no... <gasps> okay, we got a cute little Pac-Man animation. Current pod. 35. Total pods. Collected. Okay, you collect them, all right. One. Your... Pod hash. Oh, I have a pod hash. I'm not gonna show you that. Oh, it it's just stopped. Didn't show me my pod hash. Maybe that's you know what happens. So that's why it says eat as many Tide pods as you can. I guess <laughs> you are encouraging most antisocial behaviors in our children. I mean, if they're old enough to go to DEF CON, they're probably <laughs> old enough to make their own choices. Anyway, so what's next? Uh, yeah, here's another version of the proto board shared by Mike, whose last name actually pronounced Polishly, I think would be Szczys, but I'm not sure how he pronounces it. So anyone who knows that, please tell me. Uh, and then on Brian Benchoff's own profile on Osh Park, there are a few extra treats. There's a little purple Comic Sans that appears to just be a flag for the official branding of the SAOs. Um, there's a meme badge that was another SAO. Uh, doesn't appear to do anything but look awesome. <laughs> uh, shitty EEPROM, shitty add-on totem that allows you to sort of, along with this bus bar thing that kind of allows you to add more of the add-ons. And uh, as far as I can tell, that's about all we've got so far, but I'm sure there will be more. Like, I don't know where the, the deal with it one comes from. Uh, it's pretty cool, though. Let's see if we have any questions. Yes, people correctly say that it's amazing. Do, 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 do. HTML written in notepad, lol. <laughs> um. Oh, Catherine Scott says, Tide Pod needs to be text up. Well, it worked, I guess, so yay! Cool. Um, well, awesome. Thanks, everybody. Uh, I appreciate you uh, watching. Catherine also says it did one LED, which I'm guessing refers to my feeling that nothing happened when I put in the Tide Pod. So maybe it like lit up one LED or something. I'll have to try it again later and see what happens. Uh, I also want to make a couple things out of these. And so maybe you'll be seeing more of the Mr. Robot badge uh, and it's related add-ons before DEF CON. And whether or not that is the case, we will see you at DEF CON. I'll be there at the Blockchain Village for a couple days. Uh, and yeah, uh, hope to see you there. Have an awesome rest of your Wednesday. We'll catch you soon. Ciao!